For Crema Media's Mining Weekly, I'm Shannon Derejo. Hasvane Munjoma from the Africa branch of the International Zinc Association joins me in studio to discuss the IZA Africa as well as the zinc industry in general. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. Can you tell me what was the main reason for the change of name of the Zinc Association to IZA Africa? Yeah, actually, it wasn't a change of name as per se. It was more of integration of ISASA, that is the South Af Southern Africa branch, into the global branch, which is uh, into the global association, which is the International Zinc Association. And does this cover the whole of Africa? And how many members does it have? Uh, IZA has a membership of 291 uh, companies. Uh, these are divided into three categories. We have full membership, we have uh, affiliate membership, and we have associate membership. And this organization covers the whole of Africa. Uh, some of the members of the 291 uh, members uh, have operations in Africa. Um, which companies qualify for membership of IZA Africa? I would say any company that is uh, dealing directly or indirectly uh, with zinc qualifies to become a member. It may be a zinc producer, it may be a user of zinc, it qualifies to become a member. What is the main aim of the association and what are, have been some of the achievements to date? Uh, the main aim of the association is to, uh, sus to promote the sustainable use of zinc. You know zinc has several applications, so the aim of the association is to raise awareness on these applications and ensure that uh, zinc is known out there. In terms of the achievements, uh, the International Zinc uh, Association has been working on several global uh, programs in the regional or IZT uh, Africa region has been participating in these uh, programs. For example, in the promotion of the galvanizing industry in infrastructure project, uh, IZT has been working with the regional associations in promoting the use of galvanizing in infrastructure projects. You know the benefit of galvanizing in corrosion protection. So IZT has been uh, highlighting uh, this benefit of zinc in corrosion protection and also highlighting uh, the need of standards in the galvanizing industry. There are also health benefits of zinc. Yes, uh, zinc, uh, actually studies have shown that most of the soils, especially in Africa and in other regions, are deficient in zinc. And IZT has taken um, an initiative to raise awareness on the benefits of zinc through demonstration projects whereby uh, IZA works with the fertilizer companies and, uh, and governments to ensure that farmers do use what we call zinc fertilizers. In other words, fertilizers that contain the micronutrient zinc. The benefit of using the micronutrient zinc in fertilizer uh, is that uh, the zinc will increase the crop yields and also uh, the crops that are grown uh, using uh, the zinc fertilizer will naturally have zinc in the grains and when these uh, crops are consumed then it means the people uh, that consume uh, these crops will naturally uh, also take in zinc mm. or we enhance the development of downstream industries and create more jobs for South Africa. Mm. It sounds like a very positive move. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you very much. That was Hasvane Munjoma from the International Zinc Association in Africa speaking to me about zinc and the IZA Africa.